abalone. A delicacy and an aphrodisiac in China is illegally harvested in South Africa and smuggled to the east. It has become a $1 billion industry with direct links to organized crime and Chinese triads. The abalone is exchanged for the chemicals used in the production of street drugs. No money changes hands. It is an exchange that is destroying the social fabric of South African society. This is a beautiful coastline, and they've totally, totally destroyed it. The coastline on the southern tip of the African continent, where the cold Atlantic and warmer Indian Oceans meet, has become the battleground for an ongoing war between man's greed and the maintenance of nature's balance. The enemy? Organized crime syndicates, drug dealers, corrupt businessmen, prison gangs, and an army of abalone poachers. The fallout from this conflict is having a devastating effect not only on this marine paradise, but also on man. An effect that is tearing the social fabric of communities apart. They know all my dogs too. They know them by name. In most um, arrests, you know, when it comes to us, when we arrested the guys on the ground, invariably there will always be a link to some kind of Chinese person involved in the chain, somehow or another. And uh, most of the guys um, on the top end, the buyers especially, I would reckon, in my experience, probably 80-90% of them were all, all of Eastern origin. Abalone poaching is definitely linked to Chinese triads. There's no doubt in my mind about that. They set up the market, they create the market, and they run it. They're well organized, very well sophisticated, and they run the show. It has been a busy year for the police's organized crime unit. After receiving intelligence reports from undercover agents, two container vessels destined for Hong Kong were searched in Cape Town Harbor. The result was rewarding. In massive white nylon bags containing plastic pellets used in the plastic molding industry, over four tons of poached abalone with a value of approximately two million US dollars was uncovered. The find was another reminder of the lengths the crime syndicates will go to to move poached abalone out of the country. Even more disturbing is the fact that the abalone is swapped for the chemicals used for the manufacture of street drugs. We've heard stories and, and uh, worked with guys that have done chases where um, the guys have swapped abalone for drugs. Uh, we know money changed hands. It was a straight swap abalone for drugs, you know, all the ingredients to make the drugs. They'll do anything they can to get abalone cheaper. If it's easier for them to get hold of ingredients like ephedrine and this and that, and that used for the manufacturing of or cooking of crystal meth, they will do their best to get those ingredients if they can swap them off for abalone. Because to them, abalone is gold, abalone is king. I mean, forget cash is king, that's abalone. As the war continues, the casualties mount. Law enforcement agencies appear to be fighting a losing battle as more and more dirty money is pumped into the illegal poaching industry by the syndicates. The stakes are high, but so are the returns on their investment.